Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. As promised, this video and onwards, I'm going to introduce to you a Spark ML Lib and will show you how to develop simple linear regression model using a Spark ML Lib. In the previous video, I already covered building the same model but by making use of Python's uh, scikit-learn package. If you have not gone through how to build simple linear regression model as well as a complete explanation of it in layman terms, then uh, start watching the video given in the i button above. Knowing machine learning model implementation uh, using both scikit-learn as well as Spark ML Lib will definitely give an edge uh, when you know. Uh, you're searching for new opportunities or for acquiring uh, some uh, good amount of knowledge. So stay connected till the end of this video and this series to acquire complete uh, knowledge in order to understand the, understand the best of both worlds. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. In this video, I am going to give you an introduction of Spark ML Lib, its various tools, important algorithms covered by it, etc. So without further delay, let's get started. So what exactly is Spark ML Lib? First of all, ML Lib stands for Machine Learning Library and Spark ML Lib is a Spark's machine learning component which excels at iterative computations, enabling ML Lib to run fast. One can use a Hadoop data source, uh, be it uh, HDFS, NoSQL databases, flat files or uh, local files, um, making it very uh, easy to plug into Hadoop workflows. It has one limitation though, all machine learning algorithms can't be parallelized because each of the algos has its own challenges for parallelization. Uh, Spark framework is being used by data scientists in order to implement machine learning algos more and more in a scalable manner. So Spark can run on Hadoop, uh, Apache Mesos, standalone cluster mode, uh, EC2 or Kubernetes and uh, it can also uh, access data from Apache Hive, uh, NoSQL databases like Cassandra, MongoDB, making it very powerful to build these machine learning models utilizing data from varied sources. Now there are two types of Spark ML Lib syntax. Uh, number one is a Spark 2.0 data frame syntax, which actually provides higher level API, uh, which is built on top of data frames so that one can construct machine learning pipelines. Number two is Spark ML Lib syntax, uh, which is, you know, basically Spark RDD syntax uh, and is kind of outdated these days and is no longer be supported or updated. So in a nutshell, Spark 2.0 data frame API is the primary machine learning API for Spark currently. Now, in order to build these Spark ML Lib based models, you need to format your data in such a way that it should have only two columns, namely features and labels in case the algorithm is supervised in nature. If the algorithm is unsupervised, then the feature column will suffice. So let's say you have a, a data set which contains hundreds of columns or independent variables then you need to condense or consolidate all these independent variable columns into a single column such that each row of that column will contain an array of all those independent variable entries. I'm going to show you this when I'm going to build the uh, model in our subsequent videos. So in a nutshell, we would uh, definitely need to engage in uh, such data pre-processing steps before we build the actual models. Spark ML Lib comes with uh, popular algorithms in regression, classification, clustering, dimensionality, family of algorithms. It also supports recommender systems like content based filtering and collaborative filtering. As far as basic statistics is concerned, it supports uh, summary statistics, hypothesis testing, correlation, as well as random data generation techniques like normal and Poisson. I will be covering all these topics in the upcoming video, so follow this series completely. 
Moving on, if we want to sharpen our skills on the Spark ML Lib, then we also need to be familiar with the Spark ML Lib documentation because that's one source uh, where you can find a lot of information in case you want to refer any topic, be it machine learning algorithms, feature extraction, transformation, construction, evaluation, and tuning of pipelines, as well as saving and loading the models. Uh, along with utilities for uh, statistics, linear algebra, etc. Spark ML Lib documentation is uh, quite good and can explain each topic very well with the help of examples. I will walk you through the navigation to the different topics. So let me open the home page of Spark, which is uh, spark.apache.org. So this is the home page of uh, spark.apache.org website. Here we will click on the documentation tab and here on the documentation we will click on latest release uh, spark 2.4.4 okay. So once we click on it, it will lend us to the spark overview page which is this page okay. And we will now go to programming guide here right. And here you will see uh, the links for uh, various other um, uh, you know topics like RDDs, accumulators, broadcasts, uh, SQL data frames, structure streaming, Spark streaming, GraphX, Spark R, etc. etc. Uh, right, but we will uh, click on uh, MLLib machine learning here. Once we click on this, we will be landed on machine learning library guide. Uh, you can see that there is an announcement here saying that uh, the MLLib RDD based API is now in maintenance mode okay but worry not because we are going to focus on data frame based syntax only and I will in fact cover most of the topics uh, listed here so if you click on on the left hand side you are uh, able to see s several options so if you click on extracting transforming and selective features link you will see uh, various options uh, like uh, feature extractor, feature transformers, etc. So these kind of features or the feature extractor or transformers are nothing but uh, lets you convert your data set into a format which can be easily readable by the machine learning libraries uh, that MLLib has. So we would be working with the vector assembler uh, and vector indexer as well as a string indexer mostly in the upcoming videos. So it also has certain natural language processing related uh, entities like uh, word to vec tf, idf, uh, tokenizer, etc. Now let's uh, come back to the left hand side and if you click on classification and regression link, you will see a list of algorithms in classification, uh, regression, uh, in fact decision tree, tree ensemble, etc. Let's click on a linear regression here. Since we are going to build a simple linear regression model first, right? So here uh, you can see that uh, it's giving us the basic overview of what simple linear reg or what a linear regression is, followed by example of, uh, you know, provided in all the three languages like Scala, Java, Python. If you scroll down, uh, you will see various other algorithm example as well, like generalized linear regression. Uh, then we have uh, decision tree regression, right? Uh, random forest regression, so and so forth. If a particular machine learning algorithm is not listed here, then it means that it is not supported yet. Similarly, we can. Uh, click on again uh, the clustering link which is right beneath uh, classification and regression so let's click on it and we can see that uh, there are uh, several uh, algorithms in clustering section uh, like k-means lda gaussian mixture model etc right so we can utilize these algorithms if we have unsupervised uh, learning kind of problem in hand okay you can also click on uh, API docs above here, right? Uh, and let's say click on, we want to click on Python in order to get information about various APIs. So you can just uh, scroll down to see various Spark MLLib related packages. So let's click on uh, regression module. 
okay and here you will see whole lot of uh, in-depth information related to this model I would definitely recommend going through these uh, documentation uh, when you want to learn a particular topic okay so folks this is it for this video to conclude I gave an introduction of spark mllib along with the how to uh, get variety of documentations uh, to learn a particular mllib related topics in detail so let me ask you a question from today's video does spark mllib support a dimensionality reduction uh, family of algorithms please post your uh, answers and comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you